Sir, we realize the imperative need of the bill, but the manner in which it is being brought is only now under dispute, sir. Sir, first of all, why this ordinance route was sought, we do not know. This is a very important bill, which everyone is concerned, and no one is against auctioning off the coal mines, which increases the exchequer. Sir, but while the government is so much concerned about the income to the exchequer, it should also care about the other side. That's the issue. This bill has got a far-reaching ramification. Sir, we are uh, very much sorry, sir. The bill, how it was discussed in a hazard manner in the select committee, the same manner it is being discussed in the House. Sir, uh, we, I think the select committee, which has to hurt, which has to hear so many other stakeholders, has not done so. It was very, very imperative, but due to paucity of time, the select committee proceedings were rushed and I don't want to go deep into it. But at the same time, some of the suggestions which were made by the members in the committee were also taken, not into, taken into consideration. See, the bill as it was introduced in the select committee, the same manner it has come to the House. It has got 33 classes. All the 33 classes are unchanged. So the concept of standing committee, which came into existence in the year early 90s, was under the impression or under the basic uh, concept that every bill has to be scrutinized in detail. The standing committee is considered to be a mini parliament as well as a select committee. Whereas their select committee which has to hear the stakeholders, various ministries which are concerned with that, the states which are to be affected and the laborers who are to lose their jobs and the trade unions which represent them were not heard, sir. But we even worked on Saturdays and Sundays. But due to the rushing of that, we were not able to come to a conclusion which we dissented. But now in the House, when we discuss, we want to put forth these issues before the Minister, who is very much concerned in this passing of this bill. We are also, of course, for the auction of these mines, we don't have any grudges. But at the same time, sir, when this auctioning method is introduced, the prayer alerty loses its minds. The employees, the laborers who were with the prayer alerty, are not bound to be employed by the new person who, has a bid, who is the successful bidder. So what is the fate of those laborers is a very big question. Sir, already unemployment is very much in this country. They are adding lakhs of employees, laborers uh, uh, to that workforce as unemployed. So we are concerned about that. What is that? Sir, very, very, very important. Okay. Kindly, kindly. Permit. Three minutes. Okay. Sir, I am talking something no, very serious. That is correct. At least permit me. Instead of supporting members speaking, we members have got some issues, very much important. Sir, we said, we just suggested the labors must be taken to the security creditors. The prayer alati who gets the money from the bidder has to give the compensation to the laborers and that should come in the bill which has not come. So also, the state's right, sir, the fundamental, the basic uh, uh, feature of this country is a federal setup, sir. But this bill, bill four feet the rights of the state. I will just quote only one, sir. Class 10, class 17, subclass 3 says, as it is considered expedient and necessary in the public interest and in view of the difficult situation which has arisen, the powers of the state government under the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act 1957 to prematurely terminate a prospecting license or remaining lease shall stand suspended. Sir, how the rights of a state could be suspended by this act, no. I, I am afraid for any reason the rights of the states should not be encroached, should not be forfeited, should not be disturbed in any manner. So we are against only these two issues. The labors have not been taken into consideration, their welfare has been ignored and so also the rights of the states have been forfeited. So these are the reasons we have issues in this which was not discussed threadbare in the select committee so also in the house now i have put forth these views before the minister I, if a positive okay. uh, response is given by him or an assurance is given to the laborers, lakhs yeah. of laborers who are going to come okay, to the okay. streets and to avoid 
any problem okay, okay. further harassing already there are okay, enough forces in the country Rajeev should not Rajeev should not unemployed workforce sir please. thank you very much please.